I'm going to talk about registers in this lecture. So a register is a group of flip-flops each of which stores one bit of information. So uh, that actually means a D flip-flop is a register, one bit register. Then T flip-flop is a one bit register. The JK flip-flop is also one bit register. Each of them is a single bit register as they can store one bit information okay so if i combine say for example if i combine two d flip-flops if i combine two d flip-flops okay so if i combine two d flip-flops then it will be a two bit raster right so that's the main thing okay so So this is a simple 4-bit register so you can easily see that I have combined just 4 D flip-flops to create a 4-bit simple register. How it works it is it is very simple to understand how it works. Uh, if you see this one correctly so it is a simple D flip-flop. So how it works if uh, there is a clock signal right here so it is a square wave nothing else it has positive edge negative edges so say for example this d flip flop is a positive edge trigger d flip flop when this d flip flop will get this positive edge it will transmit the da data at i0 to a0 so for example if this is the clock signal and the input at i0 i0 is something like this logic 1 i0 is logic 1 say so what will happen is at this instant at this positive edge what will happen is the a0 will be 1 so it's something like this so you can easily understand what will happen for all the bits say for example uh, this is for one bit different from the first one for the others a1 a2 and a3 all going to simultaneously work together as all the clock signals you can see that all, as all the clock signals are shorted so each of these flip-flop will simultaneously work and will transmit the data at i or input i0 i1 i2 i3 correspondingly to a0 a1 a2 and a3 okay so this is how the 4-bit simple racer will work so if we if I talk about if I talk about this the summary is been given here you can see this one so it is uh, it works at the positive edge it stores four bit of information as there is four D flip flops parallel output because I'm giving the inputs parallelly I'm giving the inputs parallelly so say for example I'll be giving at in, uh, input uh, one zero one zero at this I zero I one I two I three then after a positive edge after a positive edge say for example i have given this 1010 at this point the input and at this positive edge i will have 1010 at this output okay so it is something like this so i have given parallel input so i am getting a parallel output right so that's that okay so when and there is a, another thing there is a pin called clear it is shorted with the reset pin right so when i put zero at clear pin what will happen is uh, whether i have clock signal or not whether i have input or not the all the output will go to zero if i make the clear button or clear pin zero okay so now so uh, see that I don't have actually any control over this simple 4-bit register. I, if I want to implement some control, then I can also do it by using a combinational circuit with it. So something like this would be nice. So you can see that it was the same same circuit 4-bit simple register with some sort of control here in the form of a combinational logic. So let's try to find out how it will work. So in order to do that, let me choose a different color 
so you can you may understand easily so let me try to find out the equation at this point equation and uh, that is actually uh, in the input of at the input of the deep flip flop at a3 so see that this is a3 so this is a3 this is load prime l prime say for example this is l prime load prime uh, and this is load because prime prime gets uh, uh, buffered so that's that this is i3 so the equation at this end the equation at this point is something like uh, i3 l i3 l plus a3 a3 l prime or load prime right so this is the equation so this means it will not uh, it will not work uh, unless i put l to be z if i put l zero so what will happen let's try to understand what will happen so this is the equation that has been put to the input at here okay i3 l plus a3 a3 the a is not looking good so a3 l prime so if i don't want the data at the output a3 to be changed then what i need to do is i need to just put uh, the load to be zero in that case what will happen is this l or load will get zero uh, in, in that sense and then the l will get zero so this whole time term gets zero and this l is zero so l zero complement is one so a3 a3 is again getting here so the output won't change so if i make the load to be zero the output at a3 a2 a1 a0 won't change if i want to input the new value that is at i3 then i need to make this whole part zero and this part to be working so in that sense i need to make the l or load to be one see that if i make load to be one then what happens is this term gets zero it is neglected this term is zero uh, immediately and this l is one remaining is i3 so i3 is now at here right so i3 is inserted at this end then when the positive edge appears what happen this i3 will get to a3 that means say if i have given a uh, one at i3 that will be transmitted or transferred to the output a3 similar cases will be happening at a2 a1 a0 okay so now let's talk about 4 bit shift register so the main idea is to shift the data from the input to the next input of the d flip flop and so on so it's a 4 bit shift register you can see the uh, from the name of it Okay, let's try to understand. So this is the connection of a 4-bit uh, uh, shift register. It is known as serial input, serial output, CISO. So this is a 4-bit shift register. You can see this is the serial input and this is the serial output. So what I have done is I have connected the output of a flip-flop to the input of the next one. So and so on. I have done this. So all the clocks are shorted and all the clear buttons are or the clear pins are shorted. So if I put a zero at clear, all the outputs will be zero. Uh, though I may have input at here or here whatever there is or clock but it won't matter if i make the clear zero okay so if i don't make the clear to be zero if i want to make it work normally or normal function for normal function i want to make the clear one okay so then it will work normally what will happen is it is very simple to understand say for example there are say just to make you understand i have given a logic one here what will happen after first first positive age it will transfer to here so it is now here at the next positive age it will be transferred to here at the third positive age it will be transferred to here at the fourth positive age it will be transferred to the output that means here 
so four bit flip uh, four bit uh, shift register so it requires four positive edge or four clock pulses to uh, get a data from the input to the last output right okay so that is how it works let's try to see some uh, circuit made by this uh, simple shift register so technically it shifts data from the left to the right so it is also known as a right shift register so see that it is a circuit so you can easily see there are two 4-bit shift register this is a 4-bit shift register this is another 4-bit shift, shift register so the output of this register s0 is connected with its own input so whatever the output the input will be also bit to the first register and the output of the first register is also the input of the second register okay but this second register's output is not connected to anything so most probably the data will be lost we'll see that in a moment and see that these are the clock signals so most probably this signal this signal clock signal so the clock signals are of the two four bit shift registers the clock signals of the two four bit shift registers is shorted and connected via an AND gate so the clock is di not directly feeded okay it is feeded by via an AND gate and so this shift control will be actually uh, deciding when the clock is inserted to the shift registers or when the shift registers will work say this is a continuous clock signal i want the uh, circuit to work at this instant only so i make this one so what will happen the AND gate will produce this portion to these shift registers the final result is something like this so these two shift registers will see this only four clock pulses okay so what was uh, so let's uh, give an example to understand this one so say this is register a and this is register b just consider this for this example we'll give an example just see this circuit and we'll be now giving an example of it so serial transfer let's see so this is the table i have made say this was the the first shift register and this is the second shift register remember the first shift register's output is connected to its own input and the first shift register's output is also connected to the second shift register's input and now say initially i have given this value to the first shift register and uh, 1011 and uh, 0010 to shift register b this is the initial value so after first clock pulse that means maybe this is the case after first clock pulse what happen is see that this data will be shifted towards right right okay again this data will be transmitted to the uh, its own input and this data will be transmitted towards right this data will be transmitted towards right and this data will be transmitted towards right so see how this is produced then so one is shifted towards right zero is shifted towards right one is shifted towards right this one goes to the input of the next shift register also this one is goes to be as the input of a shift register or uh, the first shift register okay now here it is this one okay so it follows the chain okay so see that it will be happening over and over again for the second clock pulse you may see so first if uh, let me explain more about the first clock pulse so uh, the second shift register all will also receive the first clock pulse with what will happen then all the flip-flop will work simultaneously so this one gets here this zero will be shifting towards right this zero will be shifting towards right this zero will be shifting towards right and this zero is actually uh, vanished right because there was no connection at its output you can easily see there is no connection at its output okay now okay now what will happen at the second uh, clock uh, positive age that means t2 at t2 this one will be shifted towards right this one here this zero here and this zero will go to here and this uh, one will go here this one will go here zero towards right zero towards right and this z uh, this one vanishes again so it will repeat over time and finally what happens is this you see you can easily understand this one is here this one here this one here zero goes here so it will work in this fashion you can easily understand and this one here so 
in this manner after four clock pulse you get this output at the first one and this output at the second one just interesting enough to see that after four clock pulse okay after four positive wage or four clock pulse this happens this was t1 and this is t4 okay what happens is that see that this this initial value is actually in the end value after the fourth clock pulse at the first register what happens at the second register is this same initial value is actually inserted in its content 2 right the same value appears at shift register B because we have seen in the previous example for a 4-bit uh, shift register you need 4 clock pulse to enter a value right so this is the content after 4 clock pulse content at A is this one and content at B is this one see that content at A is not changed at all because this this value was actually inserted itself right you can see that it actually the output was the input right every case the output was, was the input so a doesn't change but b changes b's initial value is lost b initial value is lost b is b is now equals to a as a's output output was feeded to b right so the final value of b is actually a now thank you guys uh, if you have any question regarding the lecture please comment thank you